We're here with Cal women's soccer head coach Neil McGuire as we talk about the 2012 recruiting class that he just signed. You know, talk about the excitement overall with this class. You know, we're very excited. Obviously, recruiting, it takes a number of years to get your players, um, once they've committed, to actually come to the school. So we've been knowing that this team, has been, this group of girls have been coming now for quite some time. Uh, and as a whole, we're very, very pleased. They, uh, they're players that provide us with um, specific needs in terms of the way that we want to play. And uh, we're, we're very much looking forward to them coming. And when you set out uh, to form this class, did you have any specific needs you wanted to address? And did you address those needs? Yeah, I think that we needed a central defender. We obviously lost uh, Daniel Bernash, who is a uh, senior leader and captain. Of, you know, had been playing here for four years, had played almost every minute of every game. So her leadership is going to be sorely missed, and we needed a, a quality center back, and we feel like we got that. Uh, we felt like we needed to try and get a forward or a striker who could stretch teams um, in terms of their defensive positioning. Rather than being able to play us high up the field, they'd have to be concerned about our speed, uh, and we addressed that. And then obviously in the midfield, we wanted to try and make sure that we had more players that had great levels of creativity in the final third in order for us to be more effective uh, at goal scoring, and I think we addressed that as well. And this class, all six of your signees are from the state of California. You always want to keep the best at home. How important was that to keep the best here in Berkeley? I mean, every year we, we uh, make a commitment to try and get the very best player from California. I mean, I think our recruiting looks in three different areas. We look at the very best from California. We look at the very, very best players from out of state. Uh, because obviously the quality of the, the players in California are of such a high caliber. To find better players from out of state is not easy. Uh, and, and then we also look internationally and we want to try and get players who've got international experience on their full women's national team or maybe U20 or U23 national team. Uh, and I think that we've been able to achieve that over the last couple of years. But this class, uh, predominantly from California, except for you know a, a young transfer who we may bring in soon. And can you take us through uh, each of the six members of this class and what you hope that they'll bring to the team? Uh, well, first we start off with Ifioma. Ify is a forward and she's from Southern California. She's extremely athletic, probably one of the better athletes that I've ever seen uh, coming out of high school. Extremely powerful, extremely strong. Um, very similar to Alex Morgan actually in terms of her overall athletic ability, um, but has a lot to learn about the game. So she's going to come in uh, and we have to teach her about the art of being able to be a, a, an elusive attacker, um, but we're very excited about her. We have Sam Witteman, who is a midfielder who has got Tremendous soccer IQ, very, very uh, high skill level. Uh, and underneath the line, between 40 yards to goal, she's very, very creative. We have uh, Celeste Bourier, who is, a, again, very similar to Sam. Uh, high soccer IQ, very skilled and a natural goal scorer. Celeste Martori, who actually I coached at the Mustang Blast um, when I was uh, coaching club, is a, a player who can play in a lot of positions. She can play center midfield, she can play up top, she can play in the back line. Uh, she has a complete game, very strong in the air, very good passer. Uh, very good tackler, very good speed, uh, and a player that we feel is, uh, is, is going to provide a lot for us in a number of different positions. Uh, Elliot Gentile uh, is a center back that we got that um, played for Beach FC down in Southern California uh, and is playing a little bit right now with the SC Blues. Very strong, very controlled, very composed, uh, and has tremendous maturity for her age. Um, an exceptional passer of the ball over distance which is very important when you're trying to replace a player like Danielle, who had incredible range. Uh, and then the last player being the transfer that we had from, uh, from UCLA, Ariana Martinez, who is now with the U20s and the, U and the full Mexican national team. She can play a whole host of positions. She's very, very fast, tremendous touch on the ball, likes to attack, and we're more than likely going to use her outside back or maybe outside forward, but she could also play in the midfield. So these players really did address all of the things that were most important to us, which is we wanted to increase our skill level to make sure that we were a better team in possession. We wanted to increase overall uh, athletic ability. And more importantly, we wanted to continue to try and get players that um, were prepared to work for each other and work to, uh, to develop themselves over the course of four years, which is going to help the program continue to grow. And you combine these standout newcomers with a veteran group coming back. It really offers a lot of promise for 2012. Yeah, you know, last year I felt like the team at the end of the year was playing the best soccer I'd seen them play uh, for a number of years, and we were very excited about that. And unfortunately, we lost on penalty kicks to a very good Boston College team uh, in the second round. Um, our team's motivated. You know, ultimately we lose um, four or five players that were very talented, but I feel like the, 
the core of the team who played large minutes last year uh, coming back is, is certainly exciting and the team is very, very motivated to uh, bigger and better things. Great. Well, we look forward to seeing them this fall. Thank go, you. Go Bears. Thank you.